I'm John Cobb with Cobb Cycling. We're doing a series of videos to help you uh, get your position on your bike better. What we find through a lot of emails and conversations with our customers is that the customers, you know, get a saddle and they go, well, this just isn't comfortable. And it's generally because of bike position. Uh, our seats are generally pretty comfortable even though there's no perfect seat. So today I have a local racer named Charity who just did an Olympic triathlon yesterday and uh, I had her bring her bike in just like it was and we're going to kind of go through her setup and point out some things to look for. This is just a stock Trek. She's got some clip-on arrow bars on it. It's a road bike. It's not a specific tri-bike. And as we work through this over the next couple of videos, we're going to get her on a tri-bike and uh, show how her position changes. Uh, what you see is she's got a good lower back flexibility uh, and she's pretty stretched out here. She's got a lot of leg extension and it's real common for riders when they have this going on, they, uh, their heels up real high and it's because their hamstrings are tight. But when you get off of the bike after swimming and biking hard in a race and you're fixing to go run, your hamstrings are even tighter so your heels pull up. Well then she's scrubbing back and forth across the top of the seat and that just leads to all kinds of seat problems. So we're going to eliminate the scrubbing, we're going to change the seat height so that she's not getting this snap in her knee at the bottom of the stroke and improve her foot position. Um, I've put on a V-flow seat on uh, Charity's bike and as you can see it's angled um, pretty uphill. It's uh, <laughs> That's just a good way to start with these seats. It's actually on a 1.2 degree nose high attitude and we may actually go up even higher like that. But uh, the reason why is if you look at her elbow pads here, they're level with the top of the seat. And even her uh, brake hoods and all are only just a couple inches below the seat. So her goal is to start doing some road racing next year. And uh, this is just a pretty typical position that a bike off the floor in a bike shop would have. And uh, for somebody that's got her type of flexibility, uh, this is just way wrong. So we're going to fix that over the next uh, few minutes. But we're going to start with her. We put her on here. We change the seat height to get that all that going. So hop on there for a minute so we can get a view of that real quick. So we reset her seat height and now she's got a little better bend in her leg and her, her feet aren't tilting up so bad there. She's got a flatter foot. And that'll take a lot of pressure off her hamstrings. Now in her case, she's got a shorter upper body length versus her leg length. And that uh, sometimes requires a lot different um, seat measurement than just a standard formula give you. But we'll go through that. Get on your arrow bar in a second. The point we look at is when you see someone's shoulder pivot point here, and their lat pivot point here, well ideally you want this point about two inches lower than this point. So we have a long way to go here to achieve that. But because she's thin and uh, to make the air flow right and pull up over her hips and make the air pull off of her shoulders faster, we're going to have to slam this front end to achieve that. Uh, and ultimately when we do this on her tri-bike, uh, she'll be a lot further forward and it'll feel a lot better and open up this hip angle. We took a little break and worked on uh, Charity's bike a little bit. Uh, we had her get on it and pedal it and so we changed the tilt of the seat. Now it's up to about two and a half degrees. Uh, and that lets her pubic bone roll down into the soft tissue of the V-flow, I mean soft foam of the V-flow. And that's what that's for. So that your soft tissue pivots up and gets up out of the way and your sit bones are up here so it really makes your crotch have a lot less pressure on it. Then uh, in her case I took and put an adjustable stem on the bike to get her low enough. She's got uh, kind of extreme flexibility that a lot of people don't have uh, but in her case she has it so we might as well use it. And she's going to do some road racing next year and so we wanted to get her bars down anyway so when she goes off the front she can build more power by pulling on the bars and doing things like that. So hop on here a second and uh, I think you'll be able to reflect back on some of our earlier shots and uh, you'll see the difference. Now, you know, 
I can rotate like that in my dreams. But uh, anyway, this is ideal, or it's getting closer to ideal if you've got this kind of flexibility in your little back. Uh, her shoulder pivot point is finally close to in line with her lap point. It would be really difficult to get her much lower. But because she can drop her head down and what they call turtle her head, it gives a nice deep drop in her shoulder blades. The air will come whizzing through here, it will come through here and up over her hips, flow off the back. So arrow-wise, she's going to be pretty fast. Uh, the seat allows her to rotate her pelvis and so what you want ideally is in your hip socket and your pelvis point here you want these to be close to flat and it's your seat that causes that, that not to happen a lot of times and so uh, I think the V-flow is a good choice for her and it uh, works pretty good. Now she's just got to go out and train some and get used to it. Now hop up on your brake hoods just for a second. See, this is a really good uh, road position, and then she could still get down on her drops for sprinting or climbing big hills, and make it, you know, use her glutes and make make uh, good power with that. So, uh, this is kind of following uh, suggestion I try to give a lot of people now is to get your handlebars level with your top tube up at the head tube area. And if you get that set and, you, and you're not like my size, there's a good chance it'll be successful and you'll be comfortable.